Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to talk about a pretty mind-blowing new feature in PowerPoint Live for Microsoft Teams meetings. That's the ability to translate the text on slides to help make your content more accessible to everyone, regardless of what language they speak. Okay, so we've got a meeting going on here with a few folks. We got Megan, Adele, and Alex. Megan is gonna go up to the share tray here and find a PowerPoint slide deck that she wants to present. You'll see here that all of her most recent PowerPoint files are shown under this list under the PowerPoint Live heading. Megan can also browse her OneDrive or her local computer to locate a specific file if she needs to. In this case, we're gonna jump into OneDrive and we're gonna locate a file that's been created in French. Now just hit the share button and those slides will be presented in high fidelity for everybody in the meeting. We've got some great slides here, but Alex doesn't speak French, so how's he gonna follow along with this? Rather than being at the mercy of normal screen sharing session, PowerPoint Live slides are rendered for each participant directly from the Microsoft 365 cloud, and that makes it possible for folks in the meeting to adjust the slides to meet their needs. The first of these features is the ability to see slides in high contrast mode. This makes it easier to see if you need that personally, if you wanna switch out the colors. Now we can also translate the text on these slides in 19 different languages. To do this, Alex is going to click the little dot dot dots right here at the bottom of the slides, and you'll see this new option for translate slides. If you mouse over that, you see the 19 different languages that are listed here. And if he clicks on English, after a quick processing of the file, he now has all of the slides converted over to English. This is incredible, but what happens on the other people in the meeting? So let's flip over here to Megan. You see that she still has the white background. And if she goes forward, it's still all in French. But Alex has it in English. If we look over at Adele's screen right here, she is also seeing it in French because she hasn't translated the slides. So that translation that Alex did didn't happen to any of the other attendees. He's able to adjust the slides to meet his needs without affecting anybody else in the meeting. Now, there's one thing that I do want to point out. If we look over here at Adele's experience, she's on the web version of Microsoft Teams. Right now, we unfortunately can't translate these slides using a web browser, but that can't be far away, right, Microsoft? This is one of those times where when I first saw this feature, I just sat back stunned thinking, man, we're living in the future right now. Sure, we've been able to translate text in places like chatting with other people, but now you can overlay the slides with a different language and do it without even breaking the layout of the slide. I hope this helps you present more confidently to global audiences. As always, be sure to subscribe for more tips on how to use this awesome stuff that Microsoft Teams is rolling out. Thanks for watching. Take care.